Hello and welcome to our video assembly. Christy here. Yesterday I went for a walk and I saw something on my walk that I haven't seen since uh, last spring. I wonder what it was. I wonder if you can work out what it was from my clue I'm going to give you now. No, it wasn't a cuddly toy. It was a field full of little, tiny, cute little lambs. Um, I love seeing the lambs in the spring, don't you? They were skipping around, having a marvellous time. And it reminded me of the fact that in the Bible, God is often talked about as being like a shepherd, a good shepherd who takes care of his sheep. And we are like the sheep that need looking after by the good shepherd. There's one particularly famous bit in the Old Testament in the Psalms. Now you might remember, I told you I think before, that the Psalms were like song lyrics. Uh, they had tunes that went with them, but we don't have those original tunes. But over the centuries since they were written, many people have written tunes for these songs. I'm going to read you Psalm 23, and I think some of you might recognise it. It's a very familiar one. Others of you won't, but just listen carefully to what it says. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Had you heard that before? Not to worry if you haven't. But what's it about? Maybe you could just pause the video for a minute and have a think or talk to someone that you're watching this video with about what that meant. How did you get on? Well what this uh, psalm is saying to me is that God is like a good shepherd and he does take care of us, his sheep. He, it says, I lack nothing, that means I have everything I need. He leads us to the green pastures and beside the still waters. Now, these days and in this country, we keep sheep in fields, whether they're uh, you know, in the valley or whether they're up in the fells. And um, the shepherd, and we tend to, um, when we need to move the sheep, we have sheep dogs or, or quad bikes and we drive them. But in Jesus' day and in many parts of the Middle East today, where it's very hot and dry and there isn't much grass, the shepherd leads the sheep to where the good grass is. And because the sheep know that the shepherd will find them some good grass to eat, they will follow him and they learn to recognise his voice. And so when this psalm talks about he leads me beside still waters, that's what it means that if we know that God is going to provide for us everything we need and he's going to take care of us, then we will want to follow him. And some of this psalm is lovely, isn't it? The thought of being in those green pastures and, and by the river, and it makes me think of summer days and picnics and times when life is wonderful. And that's great that God, the shepherd, leads us into those times. But you know, sometimes life isn't wonderful. Sometimes is more, life is more like this dark valley Things can be hard work, things can be sad, things can even be a bit scary. I'm sure we've all had moments like that in the last year, it's been really hard for everyone. But what this psalm is saying that is that when we're in those dark places, God our shepherd is with us and he is there to look after us and to protect us and defend us. And then the very end of the psalm talks about how there's a table prepared, a beautiful feast for us. And that goodness and love 
will follow us. So Jesus leads us, but he also follows us, follows us with all those good things. So that's something really to hang on to. The last thing I want to do in this assembly today is just to sing a song with you. Um, you may or may, you might not know this, I think I've taught it to some schools that are listening to this assembly. If you don't know it, maybe you could just join in with, with the chorus. The chorus goes like this. And I will trust in you alone. And I will trust in you Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you are our shepherd. Thank you that you take care of us. We pray that when we're in the darkest place, that we will know that you're with us. And may we remember every day to say thank you for all the good things that you give to us. Amen. Thanks everyone. See you next time.